Cancer, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with another tarot card message for you today. We are out here at the magic hour in the evening, last couple minutes of the day before it gets nighttime. I'm fresh off work, so we're priming the energies. I swear. Uh, let me not get into it. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. We're trying to see what energies are currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you. All right. What are the energies currently manifesting for cancer today, spirit? Water sign cancer. What messages do you have for cancer today? Everyone wants to surround me now, right now. There were no one in, no one, no one was in this area literally 15 minutes ago when I started readings. Now everyone, every mother, child, every badass little boy that's going through puberty, everyone wants to <laughs> surround me. <laughs> And stare at me like I'm like God's gift to earth. All right, whatever. Let's see. Maybe that's how the collective is feeling about cancer, or that's the energy that you're taking on, trying to be nurturing to everyone. We have two of swords, nearsightedness, getting glasses here. Someone wears glasses. This could be uh, minor distractions. Again, she can rip this blindfold off of her eye, but she's making excuses for herself at this time. Whatever excuse you can pull um, and give someone here. Yeah. Two of Swords for me, of course. That's my flight layover card. But it could be some sort of a misdirection here. Not taking accountability. Yeah. Someone surrounded with the thoughts and opinions of others. So this could be a, a lack of confidence. Now, I would like to say this is positivity with it being a 10. But until you admit there's a problem, you can't fix the problem. You should be closing out a cycle here. Hmm? A lot of distractions, a lot of opinions, a lot of communication, sleeplessness, insomnia, being distracted. Eight of Pentacles, this could be a lot of hard work. Yeah, maybe you're trying to balance work and home life. Or this is a lot of things on your mind at work. This could be writer's block or whatever you're into. Writer's, whatever writer's block, however that resonates or manifests for you. Yeah. Yeah, you should be in this particular energy here. This could be celebrity headed towards you or some sort of a standing ovation or a round of applause. Someone possi possibly be wanting to put you on some sort of a pedestal. They're idolizing you as well. All three of these feminines have their back turned. So someone's talking about you. Maybe they're praising you behind your back, saying how much of a good job or good work you're doing. Yeah, you don't see this happening here. That's what we're getting. Mm -hmm. What else for cancer? Knight of Cups romantic attraction a smooth talker a salesman mr. nice guy coming towards you to woo you here possibly a date some sort of a romantic offer yeah someone's wanting to come towards you with some sort of a romantic advance possibly a date seven of wands physical and spiritual boundaries here some sort of an innate skill or any talent here that you're currently practicing or manifesting Again, this could be the law of attraction. You could be attracting love towards you. Six of wands, knight of cups, and then seven of wands. Now we do have six, seven, eight. If I was to six, um, switch to six upside down, that would be nine, and then we have the 10. A hermit card, going within yourself. Some sort of a possible um, introspection. Again, details. Two very strong detail-oriented cards, working on yourself. Working on your boundaries here. Some sort of an entrepreneur, possibly. Maybe a doctor. Queen of Wands. Manifestation here. Someone very attractive. Someone very creative. Someone in a, a leadership position or a leadership role. This could be advertising as well. This could be some sort of an athlete. Possibly a gym regimen. Working out or something like that. Now on top of Eight of Pentacles, this is something that, this is like a job. Someone's trying to turn something to, into a job. So turning yoga or pole dancing into like OnlyFans account or something like that. We do see Six of Wands, so people are going to come towards you here. Yeah, 66. They're going to come towards you with gifts, offers, um, possibly maybe even advice as well. They could possibly see themselves in you. Pause. Um... Or this could be like some sort of a mental or emotional stress relief. You're looked at as a stress reliever here. That Neo song. I think it's Mirror. Or I think he possibly does have a song called Stress Relief. Yeah. 
a musician, a poet. Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior coming towards you. So again, 666, practicing self-love. Could be karmic energies coming towards you here. Someone possibly coming towards you that, that maybe they experienced some sort of a toxicity, some sort of a breakup. Closing out karmic cycles, needing to detox before they come towards you here, which is why we get introspection. Going within yourself. Learning what you want and what you don't want. This would be a, the difference between a virgin and someone that's actually experienced. Yeah, what you want and what you don't want. Seven of Wands and then Four of Cups coming on top of the Seven of Wands. So you're probably refusing relationships at this time. Possibly even friendships. This could be detoxing. Again, going within yourself. Mm -hmm. But while you're going within yourself, we have people that's attracted to you. Eh? They're coming towards you here. And this could possibly be the distraction. Someone's trying to distract you with love while you're working or vice versa. Someone could be distracting you with working while um, you're trying to court someone. So, okay, this could be fraternization at work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lines are being crossed here. But that's what I have for you here today, Cancer. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow, bring more Cancers into the reading. Hopefully you enjoyed. Peace.